Hey everybody, Drone Tech here. Uh, about to go and have my fourth child here in just a little bit. But before I go, I thought I'd do a quick unedited reaction to this insane clip uh, that I saw from Morning Joe this morning. Um, don't really have time for editing, so we're just gonna go off the cuff here. But real quick, before we get into this, let me tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class of 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. So what are you waiting for? Open a gold or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every quality qualified IRA of $50,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold and their thousands of five-star reviews. So call 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. The idea that this is 1996 and we're talking about you've got Mel or CompuServe is completely asinine. Isn't it time for Congress to start holding Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk and other owners of these uh, uh, these corporations just to the same standard that everybody else is held to? Why? Wait, wait a minute. Uh, so what he's saying is that he wants the government, these two left-wing Democrat party, they're open Democrats, um, are calling for the government to crack down on free speech because this free speech is an old concept from the 90s, okay? So the government's supposed to come in and crack down on these corporation owners uh, and just be they should just be held to the same standard as the media. Oh, really? I'm going to get more into this, but that's just, I think they know how full of crap they are because you're going to see them looking down at the ground a lot. I don't know if they're reading notes or are just ashamed to say what they're saying because they know as they're saying it that it's bullshit. Why do we carve things out for, and I would have said Jack Dorsey before, and I did say that a couple of years ago. No, he didn't. This is, it's just insanity that we're allowing these billion dollar corporations to, to, to have an exemption that nobody else has. You know. There's no exemption. We have free speech in America. We have the Constitution and the First Amendment. That's all it is. There's, there's no exception. The standards that these people apparently want, some sort of punishment against, the, against Twitter and Facebook because people say things they don't like on them, uh, they, they are not held to that standard. We all know that. The media can say whatever they want, and it's magically never going to be declared hate speech or dangerous. And Joe, you're making a powerful case here that the law just, maybe it just is out of date. I mean, listening to you talk about the way you were thinking about it when... But I got to kick that back. She just said that the First Amendment's out of date and that Joe Scarborough made a powerful case for getting rid of it. Okay. Which he did not, obviously. ...dollar corporations to, to, to have an exemption that nobody else has. You know, <clears throat> Joe, you're making a powerful case <laughs> here that has the law it. just... Maybe it just is out of date. I mean, listening to you talk about the way you were thinking about it when it was enacted is reason enough. Uh, you're right. The Internet has changed. The world has changed. But this is one of those areas of American exceptionalism, too, where other uh, democracies look at us and say, well, why can't you figure this out? And one of the reasons is <laughs> we actually have a very broad First Amendment statute. And of course, exactly. as a journalist, that's a wonderful thing. The problem here is that <gasps> the world has changed. And so oh. to your point, Joe, now you have companies that are actually not journalistic organizations that are disseminating um, information, some of oh. it factual, some of it dangerous, some of it hate speech. Okay, so real quick, she says that, and I guess they're talking about uh, uh, 203, uh, not necessarily the First Amendment, but they are talking about the First Amendment because she just mentioned it there, and that's the barrier to them doing what they want to do. And she mentions the fact, the irony here, that she is a journalist, that they or they think they're journalists. They apparently see themselves as journalists, these narcissists, uh, but that there's other people out there who aren't like us. They aren't uh, privileged like us. <clears throat> and they're disseminating information and and hate speech. And now she's declaring, she's labeling these things. And that's essentially all she's doing. She's saying, there's speech I don't like. We should be the judges of what should and shouldn't be out there. And the government should enforce that. Mara Gay here 
has said a lot of things that I would consider hate speech that a lot of you watching right now would consider hate speech. So I'm just going to list off some of the crazy things she said in the past that I would consider hate speech based on her standards. Uh, she said that right-wing media loves to quickly blame non-white Americans. Uh, she says these things as a matter of fact when and never backs them up. I mean, you could just as easily say that they are quickly, left-wing media is quick to blame white Americans, always. I mean, that's like their constant target. Uh, Mara Gay also claimed that masking, and this is in 2022, mind you, in September of 2022, that masking remains an act of solidarity with minorities. Yes. It's not, masking is not just something you should do for science. It's an act of solidarity with minorities, meaning not people who are not white. Uh, she said that sex is fun, which is true, but then she says, so abortion is essential to thwarting white supremacy. What? <laughs> I mean, what, e what even does she think white supremacy is? I think it's white people existing, white people in power as she sees it. She also once famously said that she was disturbed by dozens of American flags on Long Island and went on to say that the American flag is a symbol of whiteness and that Trump supporters and Republicans think that America is only for white people, uh, which, you know, is just insane. Like, I'm a Trump supporter, I'm a Republican, and I don't think that. I'd like to think that I'm not alone. I would think that most people are not monsters. But this woman is a demagogue, all right? And to put the cherry on the shit Sunday here, she once claimed that Michael Bloomberg should have taken 500 million that he invested in his presidential campaign and given 1 million to every American instead. <laughs> like, just a stupid thing to say. And she was rightly mocked for it. Well, what do you think she said about the mockery? She said that it was hate speech. So when this person says that mockery of her, criticism of her, that was completely legitimate, it's hate speech, you really should worry when her and her cohorts at MSNBC are actually pushing for the government to enforce their belief of what hate speech is against their political opponents. And they, are, they essentially have no responsibility. Uh, for the consequences of that. So we have <laughs> right. this central tension, um, and I, you know, it's easy to get wonky. We all know what Section 230 is here at the table, but you know, for the Americans sitting at home, the question is, well, what responsibility should YouTube or Google or Facebook have if they're promoting hate speech on their platforms? <laughs> um, MSNBC promotes hate speech on their platform. I mean, Joy Reid, uh, Tamara Hill, all those people, and I think most of them are gone now. It's just Joy Reid. But that's all they do is spread hate speech about white people, wh about white Americans. They brought Malcolm Nance on there once uh, to Joy Reid's show where he said that your Republican neighbors want to kill you. I mean, that's the kind of stuff they say on MSNBC. I would consider that hate speech. What repercussions have they faced? They faced none, and they would never face any if their tyrannical authoritarian version of freedom of speech were enforced by the government, which we better hope it never does. But it's very concerning that this these things are being said by a woman who clearly has mental problems and it's just being put out there like matter of fact nonchalantly should be frightening i think the average american would say they should have some uh, but legally that's a harder case to make and i don't have an answer for First it but it's just to say that i don't think we can allow it to go on as it has where there's no consequences and people can make money in fact to your point that's what i mean this is what's so crazy about these people. She thinks you that they should not allow you to say what you want on these platforms. Okay? And I don't think that you should anybody should go on and and threaten and incite violence against people. I think that's the line. And I think certain kinds of so-called hate speech, you know, if you're inciting violence against a group of people openly, that's wrong. But like the Supreme Court's already ruled uh, on hate speech so it, it is just wild how they think it's different when they do it because they are guilty of everything she's saying right now and they make money off of it too guys uh, right while while disseminating this information that is tearing the country apart mm. and and by the way providing uh disinformation <laughs> um and it, in some cases has made us very very uh endangered like with january 6th so there's yeah. real consequences to this and and i hope the court realizes that <laughs> unreal oh yeah and by the way i got this clip from newsbusters great website check it out uh, but unbelievable. Everything she's saying there, and it's just like Nina Jankowitz. These people are all left-wing. They all do all the things that they're accusing their opponents of doing as a justification to silence them. And make no mistake, 
they are working towards this goal of one party rule probably you know ccp style authoritarian rule with an opposition that has been basically criminalized all right folks thanks a lot wish me luck i'm heading to the hospital in a couple hours and hopefully by tomorrow morning i will be a father of four kids so <laughs> wish me luck and i'll see you all in the next video